you in there already? It... Oh my gosh, it's story time, isn't it? I've completely forgotten. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, just give me, wait. Just give me a minute. Uh, I'll be back. I just need to find a story. Be back in a second. Oh gosh. Um, Dinky Donkey. No, Wonky Donkey. No. Uh, Whippy Wilson. No. Bear Hunt. No, I've done that. I must... Aha. Uh -huh. Here's a good one. Yep. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. I completely lost track of time. I didn't realise it was story time. So anyway, welcome to to Busy Bees, to Tots and Toys, anybody else who's watching. Um, we're going to have story time. And this week, the story is going to be... Well, do you know what? I'll give you some clues and see if you can work out what the story is, okay? So the first clue would be this one. That's, I'll even tell you what it is. It's a spurtle. No point in looking at your mum and dad. They probably don't know what a spurtle is either. But that's what it is, it's a spurtle. No, you haven't worked out what the story is yet. Okay, I'll give you the second clue. This is the second clue. It's a wee chair. It's a wee chair that was made by my great grandfather over a hundred years ago. Okay, little chair. You got it yet? Story? No? Okay, I'll give you the third clue now. Let me introduce you to Sir Edward, who is a very posh bear. So we've got a spurtle. If you look after that for me, Sir Edward. Okay. We've got a little chair and we've got a bear. Do you know what the story is? It's Goldilocks and the three bears, and a spurtle is for stirring porridge. So now you know, you've learned something. Right, so here's the story, Goldilocks and the three bears. Let's get started. Once there was a little girl named Goldilocks. She looked like a little angel. Can you see her there? Doesn't she look sweet like a little angel? Ah. Oh. But she was really a little monster. She was a troublemaker. She was naughty from first thing in the morning. Can you see her there? She's painting the dog. She was naughty all day, throwing water over the cat and naughty last thing at night, banging a drum when her mum and dad wanted to get to sleep. Not nice. Please go and get some bread from the village, said Goldilocks' mother one day. Go straight there, she added firmly. I will, sighed Goldilocks. But Goldilocks soon wandered off. She saw some smoke billowing from the chimney of a cottage in the woods. What a funny little house, she thought. And she pressed her face right up against the window to see what was going on inside. She pushed open the front door and a terrifically tasty smell wafted out. Ooh, that smells good. Goldilocks skipped inside and there on the table were three bowls of porridge. First, she tried the biggest bowl. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that was too hot, she said. So then she tried the middle bowl. It's not too hot. I'll try that. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, it's too salty, she said. Last of all, she tried the little bowl. Not too hot. Not too salty. In fact, it's really rather nice. And she scoffed a lot. It was the yummiest, scrummiest porridge she'd ever tasted. 
<coughs> Pardon me, said Goldilox. What will I do next? Well, in front of the crackling log fire, there were three chairs. First, she tried the biggest one. <coughs> oh no, it's too hard. Then she tried the middle-sized one. Ooh! No, it's too soft. So then she tried the smallest one. And for a little girl, it was a perfect fit. But seconds later came a snappy noise. The chair had broken. Goldilocks didn't even care. I need a nap, she said. She ran up the stairs and came into a big, bright bathroom, or even a bedroom. First she tried the biggest bed, but she couldn't get into it, it was too high. Then she tried the middle-sized bed, but it was too deep. Last of all, she tried the smallest bed, and she climbed on top and rested her head on the soft, downy pillow. Ah, oh, she said, it's just right. And she snuggled down and she fell asleep. But just then, the owners of the house came back. Who left the front door open? asked Father Bear. Not me, dear, said Mother Bear. And not me, cried Baby Bear. Hey, someone's been eating my porridge, grumbled Father Bear. And look at him, he looks a bit fed up, doesn't he? Someone's been eating my porridge, sighed Mother Bear. And someone's been eating my porridge, sniffed Baby Bear. And they've eaten it all up. There's worse to come. Someone's been sitting in my chair, exclaimed Father Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, added Mother Bear. And someone's been sitting in my chair, wailed Baby Bear, and they've broken it to pieces. Just then they heard <laughs> snoring noises coming from upstairs. So they tiptoed up the stairs. And when they got there, what a mess! Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Father Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mother Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, squealed Baby Bear. And she's still in it! Just then, Goldilocks woke up with a start to find these three grumpy bears staring down at her. She jumped up, scrambled downstairs, and raced outside, and ran all the way home. She didn't stop running till she got there. Oh, I'm really sorry for not doing what I was told, she said to her mum. And I promise I'll never ever be naughty again. And she never was. For about five minutes, and then she was. Well, that's the end of today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again next week. And shall we finish by doing the Busy Bees Prayer? Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, we thank you that we have been able to be together with our friends this morning. We ask that you will look after us and bless us until we are able to be together again. Amen. Amen. Bye, folks. See you again. Bye-bye for now.